Why wouldn't you take a shortcut? It's an offer to get you where you want to go, but quicker, better and cheaper. That sounds tempting, right? There's no shortage of shortcuts available in the market. There's get rich quick, achieve enlightenment fast and earn a million dollars by next Wednesday. For anybody contemplating something new or outside of their comfort zone, a shortcut looks even more attractive. It's promising less time feeling uncomfortable, less time being at risk. It also feels a lot easier to roll back if it doesn't work out. My name is Simon Batchelor, and in this video I'm going to explain why I believe that shortcuts don't work. Is it speed and ease people want, or is it certainty? Most people with a clear goal in mind don't really want a shortcut. What they really want is to achieve that goal and actually get to that destination that they've got in mind. If the longer route is offering them more certainty, then most people would prefer to take that route because they can be more certain of getting where they want to be. If they're making that decision or looking at the map on their own, then that shortcut can look really attractive, especially if they don't have anybody to point out the safer route. What most people really need is a guide. They're looking for someone they can trust to go on that journey with them to get them where they want to go. If all you're looking for is sales, then it's easy to sell shortcuts. You can take advantage of people all day long, selling them what they think they want, a quick fix. All you have to do is forego your integrity and you can make a lot of money this way. But like those snake oil salesmen of the past, you'll need to pack up and move on before people realize that what they've bought wasn't what they wanted or really needed. I believe it's also easy to sell that longer journey because people are usually ready to buy certainty. By building trust and showing people the path to that destination, most people who really want to get there will sign up. This is where effective and ethical marketing comes in. The key is to establish yourself as the guide. There are two ways in which marketing can help do this. Number one, you can show the people looking for shortcuts that there is another path. That path goes where they want to go and you have traveled it before and you can show them the way. Number two, you can show people who haven't even started looking for shortcuts what destinations they might like to consider. Marketing to those in group one is a lot easier because they're already looking for that solution. After 20 years of working in marketing, it still baffles me that people don't focus on this group first. Speaking to the people in group one, you simply need to answer these three questions that they have. Who does this person work with? What do they work with them on? And why can I trust them to guide me? A lot of marketing advice is focusing on how to sell the destination, not on the journey. So if you're not selling the value of the journey, you're encouraging people to think in terms of shortcuts. As coaches and consultants, you know that there is no shortcut. We need to focus on marketing the journey. Happily, this also appeals to the people in group two. So by talking about the journey and some of the things they'll work on with you along the way, you'll grab the attention of people who are not yet looking as well as those who are. They'll hear you talking about the start, the middle and the end of the journey and think, now that sounds like something I'm looking for. Or at least the people you want to work with will think that. To establish yourself as the guide, you can create a three-step marketing plan that answers those three questions, the who, the what and the why. I've already created a video on how to do this and there's a guide on the website if you'd like to learn more. Now you might be thinking, this all sounds very well, but everybody else is offering a shortcut and I hear what you're saying. Those shortcuts are tempting. So what do you say in response to those shortcuts? If we're only selling the destination and we're not selling the journey, then the shortcut is always going to be more attractive. If, however, that destination means little without the journey, without the time and the thought it takes to get there, then you can show those who are ready to do the work that this is a better path to follow and possibly the only path. There will always be people who will take that longer path to somewhere over the shorter path to nowhere. Sometimes all they need is someone to show them that there are two paths. Some people do need to try that shortcut and find that it doesn't lead anywhere before they're ready to seek out the longer path. And sometimes part of our work is just needing to accept that. My book, my blog and this video is me doing just what I'm talking about now. I'm offering a different perspective on marketing with no shortcuts. 
So I don't have thousands of clients and I don't sell millions of copies of my book. But I do connect to people who are looking to do things differently. Often people find me because what they've tried hasn't worked and now they're looking for that longer path that leads them to where they feel they need to be. I believe that you can be a guide to somewhere. If you want to establish yourself as this guide and market what you do in a way that connects you with the people who feel they're ready to work with you, then do check out my book Reframing Marketing. All the help you need is in there, guiding you through step by step. I also send out a weekly email with some Monday marketing motivation, so if you'd like to sign up for that and learn more about the book, go to simonbatchelor.co.uk. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.